Riley Smedley, age 24, hometown Portland, current city Nashville, occupation bartender. She's used to dealing with people, dealing with drunk people. Every once in a while, I'll be a little tipsy in the house. They don't give them too much alcohol, but maybe that'll be a nice break for uh, Riley. But she's probably easy to get along with. Probably used to people just chatting her ear off at the bar. If she can deal with that, handle that for hours on end, that'll work in her advantage. But let's see what her strategy is. She says, I think my strategy going into the house is just really going to be embracing my situational awareness and just keeping my head on a swivel, staying on my toes because you never really know what to expect. I feel like when you make a plan to do something, oftentimes it doesn't really turn out how it's supposed to. So I think just adapting to whatever's happening in front of me and not floating are going to be my two big key strategies here in the Big Brother house. It's kind of similar to, uh, you know, Jared and Red there, kind of going with the flow. I think that's that's smart, that's effective, but sometimes those people get lost too and sometimes they can't come up with a plan as well. I could definitely see her getting in a show, man. She's young, she's single. Does it help her? Does it hurt her? We'll see. Cameron Harden, he's 34, hometown Eastman, Georgia, occupation stay at home dad. Uh, he's got a lot of hair. He's used to being around the house. I think maybe he'll blend right in with the house, become one of those players I like to call him a throw pillow. He looks like a physical guy, but he could throw some competition, just blend right into the couch like a throw pillow. You throw the competitions, you blend in, lay low, don't ruffle too many feathers, and he could get pretty far doing that. I've seen a lot of players in the past do it. Nicole Franzel kind of comes to mind. She blends right in with the house like she's lived there her whole life. He says, my strategy going into the Big Brother game is not to win too many competitions. Hey, what did I say? He could be throwing some there. Definitely not to win any soon, not to lay too low as if I'm a floater, but to be right down the middle. I want to build connections with people and drive relationships forward. Relationships are very important. I like that he mentioned that. Yeah, you don't want to be seen as a floater, but I think people get a little bit too paranoid about being a floater. I know Rachel Riley called people out in the past for being a floater. Oh, floaters got to go. Floaters, I think, do just fine for quite a while. If you don't have those comp wins, you don't have that resume built up, people want to bring you even farther into the game. And then you can win the competitions at the end. If you form enough strong social relationships with people in the jury, they'll vote for you. And this could work out for them. So, so far, so good.